Hey guys, it's Judy. I have another process video for you. I am making a superhero card for my brother's birthday. So there are some things I had in mind to use. And this first one you saw was a stamp from Paper Smooches called Super. And also the Falling Star stencil by Simon Says Stamp. So this is a regular A2 size card. I'm cutting it at five and a half, an eight and a half by 11 cutting it at five and a half and scoring it at four and a quarter. It's a regular side open card. And I'm looking through my spell binders, the oval ones, um, to see what image would fit in the, the, the stamped image <laughs> would fit in the oval die cut. So I want to, my idea was to have an oval opening on the card itself and have that city scene in the back inside the card that you can see through the hole, the opening, and then also have the scene on the outside as well. So let's see how it turns out. So the cardstock is MFT cardstock and that is in a light blue, which is snow cone and um, I'm getting out my cuddle bug and I am doing A, C, the card stock, this, the die, and then a B plate. And I opened it up so it would just cut out the circle right in the center of the front of the card. And I use a washi tape to just tape it down so it wouldn't move. And that's how it looks. And I am using a pencil to kind of get an idea of what the inside will show. Um, so I pencil in the outline so I know exactly where kind of to put my stamp. So right now I'm using, I try the Me Memento Lux in Tuxedo Black because that's kind of my favorite right now. Though I have a feeling I sh wanted to do Versafine because I just love the detail of Versafine with the black. So that's how it looked. Not too happy with it. Um, I don't know if I just didn't press down enough. Or this is the first time using uh, the ink. I mean the stamp. So here I am creating a scene on the inside of the card. Because that one stamped a little better. And then I decide to go with the Versafine. So I just use my scratch piece of paper to kind of... Um, figure out because I'm going to stamp um, on the outside now and so I tape it down and kind of stamp for the other side so now I, it's totally way lighter with the Lux ink so I am going to redo it wish me luck doing it over of the inside and it looks so much better using the Versafine. So that is how I created the scene for the cityscape, which I've always wanted to do some a card like this, so yay me for actually doing it. I am on my spending freeze, so I am using what I've got. Yay me. So hope you guys are doing the same and using your stash. Um, I hope I'm inspiring you to do the same. So I am using that Falling Stars by Simon Says Stamp, the stencil. And I didn't know whether to mist it or you saw my other card. I actually did this card first before the snowman card. But instead of spraying it, I had decided to do um, daubing. Daubing my inks because it was such fine detail. And I just wanted... Um, to work on that area. So I used my Nautical Blue and the Memento Lux and I, it was so specific I, I don't know how clear a detail. Some came out really nice, some a little like splotchy but I'm fine with that. Um, and then notice on the left those um, those ink is not um, as clear so I use my Memento um, Tuxedo ink marker Tuxedo black marker to kind of fill in that part on the outside and then I erase the circle 
which looking back I shouldn't have <laughs> but I'll show you later why um, so here I am here I go with the coloring so memento black there was a smudge there so I flip the page on my Nina solar white and that one came out smudgy so I stamped another one in the tuxedo black I'm using my Copics so my go-to skin colors are E000 and E53 so I do a light color of E000 all where the skin would be and then I go in and do E53 under where all the shadows usually I do under the hair and under the eyes and usually if there's a neck I usually do it under the neck as well and then I go back in with E000 to kind of blend it all in and for the hair I decide to use my grays so the darkest to the lightest C7, C5, and C3 and those are my go-to's for black hair um, it's a cool grays so I just go in and then I usually go back with the darkest and then I go back to the lightest to blend everything in and for the shirt you don't see I'm on the side trying to test the colors and it's a really big contrast the blues I used so I think I end up using a third color anyway and I can't see what color that is I'm sorry um, I showed it too fast see that one is way too dark I think so when I try to blend it it doesn't look as blended but I do try an added color because that is way too stark a difference so I try that blue and that one's B34 so for demonstration purposes I love the sketch so I can show you the caps of the colors um, I think that's really neat otherwise I just have the regular chow markers which I have yet to use a refill for so you know price wise it's great because then you can get the refills you can refill both the chows the round ones and then the oval ones as well so that I'm using lipstick red uh, well R 29 and R39 I believe and cadium red I believe for the cape and the oops the boots which you can't really see and I use cadium yellow I think it's Y35 for the belt so that's the finished image and I will fussy cut it out and like I always do I like to leave a little border around like a white border just so he pops out a little more and so we'll see how that goes but and when I fussy cut I just basically I'm a righty so I use my left hand to kind of guide like feed the paper through if that makes sense and then anyway I kind of look to see where I was going to position the superhero and then um, wanted to add another layer of depth so because the rubber stamp this is um, stampers best stamps and they come really inexpensive stamps but really good quality they're part of the right operation right home so here you see I drew the line just as a guide I could have used my um, what do you call it one of those stamp stamp of jigs but I didn't because the width of the stamp was not wide enough for the card base so I just lined it up to the edge of the stamp and it works fine and then I was off a little because the edge of the stamp did not um, connect with the other edge so I just used my marker again to like that to kind of fill in the bricks and it looks fine the way it is so that's how that is so I put the cute superhero right there that's where I'm gonna put it and for my sentiment I use part it was part of the stamp set by paper smooches and it says have a super day 
and I'm using the Memento Lux in the Danube Blue, which I love that color. It's like a royal blue. And there is where I do the sentiment. And then I don't think I pop dotted. I think I just use adhesive. And I just kind of eyeball it. And that's like a temporary adhesive, the dot adhesive. So I knew it was at the cape. And then all the excess I can just rub off from the back. So then I was like, oh, it needs some color. So I put in some that cadmium yellow again for the lights of the skyscrapers, buildings, to kind of add a little more color to it. And then for the inside, this is where my boo-boo comes in. I want to decorate the inside and, and um, do my sentiment and everything. So the superhero, I used it in London Fog with the me Memento ink, and that was fine. And then, but it was my sentiment. I ended up putting happy birthday. And this is where that oval would have came in handy. Because then it, this is, this is a happy birthday from... Um, I think birthday extravaganza, um, the sentiment. So I put it right smack there and I was like, oh no, it shows right through the window. Oops. So that's my boo boo. I was like, oh, I'm almost done. And of course I rushed at the end. And if I had that oval, I would have known not to put it so high up. So, all right, with mistakes, you just cover it up. <laughs> so I just used my, um, more, the leftover pieces from, the snow cone paper from MFT and I just covered it up no biggie as for my brother I don't think he'd notice the difference anyway <laughs> unless he peels it off but anyway so it makes it a little thicker so it kind of pops up which is kind of nice because it leaves a little dimension so I learned from a mistake and I put the sentiment on the lower half so you no need to erase that oval unless until you're finished. Just a little tip to remind you that it will be showing in the front. <laughs> so I just put the Sipo Hero guy down there. So that is my finished product. I hope you like it, the finished card. Oh, actually, I'm adding diamond stickles to the stars. And of course, you can't see it. But just to add a little bling to the stars, because it's a masculine card, but stars nice sparkle to it so not too colorful but here's my card hope you like it thanks for subbing and watching and commenting i love comments so take care guys